Hello everyone, I'm Shagun and in this video we are going to discuss how we all get paid for the value that we put into our work and not simply for our time. Once upon a time there was a woman who was walking by a street. She saw a painter who was drawing faces of different people who were around him. So she went to him, sat on the seat and asked him to draw a portrait for her. The man drew a portrait, a very beautiful one in the next 10 minutes. The woman gave him some money and was about to leave from there, taking the painting with her. The man said, this is not the value of the painting and asked for 10 times more the amount of money that she paid him. She replied to that, is this money asked for 10 minutes worth of work? And she was very angry at this thing. The man, the painter replied, You're not paying me for 10 minutes worth of work. You're paying me for the 20 years of my life where I learned to make something like this in 10 minutes. Isn't this story very interesting and powerful in explaining the value of money, the value that we are giving to our organization, to the society, to our community at large, and not simply our time. Jim Rohn once said, you don't get paid by the hour. You get paid for the value you bring to the hour. Professionals in every sector spend decades honing their skills. Just because they can complete a task fast does not imply that they are not worth the money. People wrongly say that we are getting paid $100 per hour for a particular task, but that's not true. The truth is that a person is getting paid $100 for the value assigned to the hour he or she works. If I go to a garden, dig a hole and again refill it with mud, I am putting a lot of effort in doing that. I am putting in my time in doing that. But should I get rewarded? No, because it did not bring about any difference to the garden. Then why should I be rewarded if I did not add any value to it? Have you ever wondered why one individual in the same team working on the same product under the same company is getting paid double that of another person from the same team? That's because that person is adding much more value to the company's progress and growth as compared to the other person, even though the other person is handling the same product, the same department and the same company. Have you ever wondered that a CEO of a company gets paid much more than an analyst or an associate level employee. Why? Because he's adding a value that is much more than that of an entry level position person. The amount of time that an analyst is giving and the amount of time that the CEO is giving is the same. Time is fixed for everyone. Everyone gets 24 hours in a day. But the value that you're adding to the final product makes all the difference. Time cannot be created or destroyed. Time is limited for everyone. That's why we need to create more value for those around us because that will increase our potential in the market. That will increase our price in the market. There was once a giant ship whose engine had failed. The owner repeatedly called experts one after another, but the engine couldn't be rectified. Lastly, he called a person who had been working on rectifying engines for a very long time. He came inside with a little bag of his accessories and immediately started looking into the engine. He just looked at the piece, took out a little hammer and did his thing and the engine started roaring. When he completed his task, he just said a thank you and left. After a week, he sent out a bill of $1,000. People were shocked. Everyone asked, what is this $1,000 for? He said, the $2 is for hammering and the $9.98 is for identifying the place where the hammer had to be nailed. That's the power of value. That's what you bring on to a table and that's what you get paid for. So focus on your value. Focus on what value you're giving into the lives of others and not on the time that you're giving to work. Every year I pay my accountant what appears to be an expensive sum to do my taxes. But I don't complain. Why? Because my taxes are tricky. Can I do it myself? No. Maybe. But while she can do my taxes in a few hours, 
it would take me a week's worth of work if not more and i couldn't promise they'd be correct when you look at it that way paying her bill happily is the best way to proceed remember it's not just about how hard you're working on the job it's all about the benefit your job provides to your clients or organization which means the value you bring to your organization at the end of the day if i accomplish a particular task in 30 minutes that doesn't mean that task is easy always remember the number of years you put across to get that task done in 10 minutes please do like comment and share and do subscribe to the channel so i can be creating more of these videos